Welcome to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton, and welcome to the match preview for Nottingham Forest versus Everton this weekend. Everton going into a game against the relegation rival and going into it in a little bit of dodgy form, let's be honest. We've come off the back of a chasing them 4 0 defeat to Arsenal, a home defeat to Villa before that. Um, before that, the Derby defeat, um, sandwiched between the win home against Arsenal and the win against Leeds. Two wins and three defeats so far for Sean Dyche, which is not amazing, but far better than, still far better than Frank Lampard's record, that's for sure. Um, but we would love to certainly make it another win on the board. If not, definitely don't lose this one. Um, Forrest in a better uh, run of form than we are. I don't think there's any team in a worse run of form than we are, let's be fully honest. Um, they actually have strikers, and I think I've almost forgotten what one of those is. Um, yeah, I'm not confident going into this game, as you can tell. Um, Calvert Lewin's missing still. Where is he? Neil Mopage will be on the pitch, but he'll probably be missing in the same. It's all the same, really. Uh, but that, it, it, that is the, the big debate. Do we swap Neil Mope out for? Ellis Sims or Marty Gray. We've even heard some clamour on social media from many a blue about sticking a centre half up top just to have a bit more of a focal point. Doesn't matter if even if they're not ones for getting goals, just bring some of the other players into play. But it's really, really bottom of the barrel stuff. Um, you know, some of the players look tired against Arsenal. Obviously, they're going to be given the run around by Arsenal, so they're going to have to. Maybe do a little bit of a reject. Some of the performances were subpar, and there's a lot of there's a case to drop a lot of the players. Um, Connor Cole will he play poorly against Villa, but I think he should come back in for this. Um, James Coleman was tired, but I think he'll still have to play. I don't think Patterson's ready again yet. Um, we did bring in Ruben Vinagre on loan, but God knows why because we've never played him. Um, but he coming for Michalenko. Some would say he probably should. Michalenko's not been. In the best form either. Um, loads of calls for James Garn to come back if he's fit. Um, a lot of people want the a Garner gay drops after his powers against Arsenal and a few other mistakes in the previous games. Amadou Inanna was is, has been one of our best performers this season, but he was really poor against Arsenal. But I can still give him the benefit of the doubt and keep him in. Ducore probably as well. Um, not that there's a lot of options to swap these players out for, and that's where the problem comes from, is that we haven't got competition for places. We've got a lot of injuries. The quality of the squad isn't fantastic anyway. So the standards are very low at the moment, and you know that's why you end up in the relegation places as we are, and we're in this predicament. Um, lack of creativity at the moment. So Obi's not really been the same player. He's been up a hot on the wing by Deitch. Um Obviously, Deitch has delivered better results so far than Lampard. So, you've got to trust him on that. But it will be definitely not been as... Certainly not as pivotal as he's been for us earlier on in the campaign. Um, So, no, I'm not, not 100% sure about what to do in that respect. Dwight McNeil's been playing on the left and he's been one of the best performers since Deitch took over. Um, and he'll definitely keep his place. Damani Gray has come on as a striker, but he didn't really do anything. None of our strikers who were available are effective as a striker. So, you know, it may well, I actually reckon it could be an NL Sims one this one. I think we might have to give him a go because what have we got to lose at this stage? Neil Mopay is just not delivering the goods. Damani Gray is not really an out and out striker. Um, you know, we do need to have a bit of a focal point up there because we're going to have to give them something to think about. We can't just let them have it all their own way at home. And the last thing we want to do is lose to a, a relegation rival. So, you know, we've really got to like get the bit between our teeth and you know make this a proper contest because we can't be rolling over like we did against Arsenal. And you know, our away performances have been a lot of them have been just rolling over for the opponent, regardless of the caliber of the opponent. Doesn't matter whether it's Arsenal or whether it's Bournemouth. We went to Bournemouth and lost four one, so it it doesn't really matter. Um, 
where it is we're travelling to, we've got to start giving better accounts of ourselves on the road. Um, that might start with having a better presence up top. Ella Sims might be the one for that. Who knows? But obviously not a lot to instill confidence in us at the moment. And even with Sean Dyche, who I think has made the performances far better so far. And I am confident that you'll, whatever the future holds for Everton, if we keep hold of Sean Dyche, I think that's our best shot at getting anywhere at the moment. I think his tactics have been pretty decent. In spite of everything that he's been subjected to, the failure of the board and the recruitment team to bring in the striker that we so desperately needed. And that's why we're having these kind of discussions. Uh, Sean Deitch has done a good job to at least make it a bit more, um, certainly a bit more cohesive than it was under Frank Lampard. We seem to have a bit more of a plan. Um, but whether that's going to be enough, given the really, really sparse resources that we've got, uh, I don't know. And, um, you know, with every game that goes past that we don't pick some more points up, it is going to be, be we are going to be less and less confident about our uh, prospects of getting out of this relegation mire. And you can only hope, but obviously we've got to go to this game after losing two games on the spin. We've got to go there and certainly at worst get a draw and stop the rot. And, yeah, whether we can do that's another thing. Um, like I say, Forrest are in an okay run of form, so I certainly think they'll be going into this with far more confidence, though, as we've got to have to, as we've said, with every game since Sean Dyche come in, and before that, even though Frank Lampard would never have done so, we've got to make it an ugly scrap because we're the, one of the worst teams, if not the worst team in the league. Um, certainly what with the players that are available to us are present and what we're putting out on the pitch. I'd say we're the worst team in the league in terms of what's available right now to every team. Um, we've got to go out and drag. Every opponent in this league is better than us. So we've got to go out and drag them down to our level and make it ugly. And that's the only way we're going to find a way of surviving if we've got any chance at all. So, yeah, I don't expect it to be a spectacle at all. Um, uh, it's going to be an ugly game. And if it is, that'll benefit us more than Nottingham Forest. So, fingers crossed that we can nullify them and, you know, somehow lazy luck shines on us and we find a way to kick it in the goal because not, not often we do that at the moment. But we'll see. Um, in terms of... I won't go into too much depth because I've said everything there really is to say. We know what the score is at the moment with Everton and the fact of the matter is the score usually is Everton nil. So I'm going to be positive on the prediction for the most part and say it'll be a one-all draw. And I'm, I wish I could say that I think we'd win this, but I don't think we will. But I'd like to just see us get on the score sheet and you know, the Rock don't lose this game, whatever happens. And just get ourselves, you know, certainly end the losing streak and just get a bit of confidence back in the team and, you know, stop the rot. Just, you know, and then we go back to Goodison then to play Brentford and hopefully go into a home game with a bit less pressure on us and a bit more confidence to hopefully maybe go and win the home game. But I'm going to go with a one all draw as my prediction for this one. Uh, not ideal, but not on... Uh, nothing's very often ideal in an Everton world, is it? So, you know, I'll go with a one-all prediction. Um, as for you guys tuning in, let us know your predictions. Coming in, let us know how you're feeling going into the game. Get your comments flooding in. Give this video a like and subscribe for more content. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching on the top of the